Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be doing my January wrap up. January was a pretty good reading month for me actually. Um, I didn't think it would be as good as it was, but the quality of the books was good. Like I wish I had read more, but the books I read I'm happy that I read and there was none that I was like, oh my god I hate this book. So yeah, let's just get into this video. So number one was With the Fire on High. This book honestly had so much hype and it has a beautiful cover and I was so excited to read it. And I read it and I gave it three stars. So it wasn't a bad book, but it wasn't a great one. And the reason I think I didn't give it as high as it could have got was just because the hype, like I think I was expecting a lot more than what it gave. It's basically about a girl called Imoni who is still in school but has had a, had a teen pregnancy and she lives with her grandma and she's really good at cooking. She has like magic hands, like her food makes people feel things and she loves to do it. But the thing is it's hard for her because people have this stigma around people with teen pregnancies but her only dream honestly is to open a restaurant and be able to cook and this book was really well developed with the characters that's what I did like about it I just felt like for me the story wasn't all really there completely but it was not a bad book and if you were thinking of picking it up definitely would recommend still because I think different people would have different opinions on it so then next book is Kill All Dar by James Dash Dasher and this I gave three stars. This is the fourth book in the Maze Runner series. This probably was one of my least favourite ones of the series but it was still good. Um, I honestly love all the characters at the moment and I love how the pace, it's good pace of a book and I think if you um, want to start the Maze Runner series I definitely would advise it because honestly its whole character development and story development is really good and the only thing I didn't really like was just it was less action packed I feel like than some of the others um, and it just wasn't as good like you know when you just can't point your finger to what wasn't as good but you just know you didn't enjoy it overall as much as you did the other ones and then the third book I read this uh, month was The Selection which I gave four stars and this book was amazing start to a series I hope I can continue so it's basically all about this is competition and you get cho they choose when there's a new king about to be elected he needs a princess obviously or a queen so they have this whole like selection basically where they invite um I want to say 24 I might be wrong about that girls to come and stay and the prince has to choose who he wants to be his wife basically and this book was really good actually um I was not expecting to love it as much like I've heard so many good things about it but I was expecting it to be a bit too like sappy for me I thought it was gonna be really sappy but it was not it took me by surprise it's probably the one book on here that surprised me the most out of all the ones I read and how much I loved it and I think honestly as the series goes on I'm gonna give more and more stars <laughs> Obviously I gave four so I can only give <laughs> technically one more stop but you get what I mean. It was just so enjoyable and I liked the characters. They were all really different but I liked them in their own unique way. It's basically about this girl. She has chosen. She's in love with this other guy so she does not want to go. But in the end she goes because she doesn't think she's going to win or get anywhere near the final. But then she's, and she doesn't think she's like the prince either. So she's like, you know what, I'll get kicked out. I won't like the prince, but then go back to the person I do love. But that's not how it goes, obviously. And I think you can sort of guess what kind of starts to happen. But yeah, it was great. And the next one is All the Lonely People, which I gave five stars. This is my first five star read of the year. And oh my gosh, I love this book. So it's about this girl, Kat, who has this online presence. And then there's trolls that start coming after her and they literally make her so like nervous and they push her so far to the edge of the community that she ends up cancel deleting all her profiles and going like into like not hiding but like yeah just hi social hiding i guess 
And for her, it's really hard because that's the only thing she ever really relied on because she wasn't really sociable in school and she didn't really have that many friends. So that was the only way she really communicated and it was ruined for her. And then she finds that there's a part of her that needs to say someone else that might just be about to be attacked by these trolls. And whoa, I was I was honestly expecting it to be like a three or four star read. It was one of my most anticipated reads, but oh my gosh, it blew me away. <laughs> If you haven't read this please read it like i never thought i'd love a book so much if i did i literally have it right here all the lonely people it's by david owen give it a try like oh it's actually it's great it's just great it's just great so the next book is love from a to z a to z oh my god am i american no a to z that's a book i gave five stars Honestly, this one I'm still I'm in around whether between four or five, but I'm gonna stick with five because I think the representation of like a Muslim girl and a Muslim guy was the best I've seen like ever that I've ever read. That's why I got such a high star rating. So it's about this girl called Zainab and this guy called Adam, and they meet at this airport, and then they think that's it. They're just like, oh wow, he's good looking. Oh, she's good looking. But they just kind of think, oh, that's over. But then they meet again and let's just say they hit off and they become friends and maybe more that's all i really want to say about it but honestly do if you're looking for a good like muslim representation there's a lot of diversity in this book give it a try and the last one i read this month was the seven husbands of evelyn hugo and i gave this five stars i loved this as much as everyone i've seen that's read it loved it like it was actually amazing it's about this actress called evelyn hugo who's interviewed by this woman that she chooses to interview her and she tells her story and the story of how she got seven husbands and her whole story before Hollywood and all the different trials and tribulations she had to um like face just to keep up her like persona and be a Hollywood star and the ending whoa the ending blew me away I was not expecting it like just honestly give this book a read like you know when you know that book has such a hype that you're not sure if you want to read it this is one of those books but honestly forget that and um, that like apprehension and just read it i think honestly so many people that like so many different types of books will love this book so please give it a try and um, i hope you enjoyed this video if you did remember to give it a thumbs up comment down below what books you read this month and remember to subscribe and i'll see you in my next video